welcome to Fresh Dialogues. I'm Alison Van Dickelen. Today we're at WebCore Builders and we're going to be talking with Vice President Phil Williams. So let's start by talking about Green Building 101. What do people mean by the term Green Building? It's evolved quite a little bit. Uh, the term actually started here in San Francisco back in the mid-1990s. And today, for most people, it starts with what would be called a, a certification of a building under the, a new standard called the LEED standard, you know, leadership in environmental and energy design. And so from that perspective, uh, it means that we try to reduce the energy, we try to reduce the water, uh, be responsible, use of materials, and really create healthy interior environments. And can you give us an idea of the context of this? Why is green building so important as far as global energy use goes? Well, there's many, many reasons that people want to have a green building. Some of it has to do with the fact of recognition that there's high probability of climate change due to man's impact. It's seen as good business. It's my energy bill today in terms of what is my overall cost of doing business. You know, the lead process labels an entire building. And again, our food products have known product labels on it. We're really excited about uh, Underwriters Laboratories has an environmental group. Pretty soon, all of us in the building environment are gonna have those product category um, rules and we'll have environmental product disclosures so that every manufacturer knows how to report their information. It's kind of like a, I look at it as though it's like a box of Cheerios. You've got some healthy products, you've got some less healthy products, some with sugar, some with fat. The consumer can now make a choice. When we didn't know the consumers were blind to the health or the energy consumption of a building. The marketplace will determine what happens, but it, now the information will be available. Now let's talk specifically about WebCore. Your, your company was involved mm -hmm. with the California Academy of Sciences, yes. the, mm -hmm. the, what I call the Teletubby one, the one with <laughs> the grass on the roof. Can you tell us a little bit about that project and what you learned in the process or what green components you incorporated there? Well, that project was special. I mean, you've mentioned the architecture. You can't miss it. And you also recognize it's not added insulation. When you have grass on the roof, the transpo evaporation that comes from green actually reduces the heat load in the building. Ah. In the summertime, it's positioned so that the sun actually adds heat to the southern exposure where all the offices are for the researchers. I think eBay is one of those projects that uh, went a little bit above and beyond in that initially everyone was fairly hesitant because no one knew what a green building was. But that rapidly moved from we're going to be a, a silver rating to a gold rating and then went even on further, uh, they actually uh, put on on-site energy renewables, whether it was photovoltaics and they also did fuel cells, which means... The bloom energy? Bloom, right. um, where they physically take uh, natural gas and provide their own energy service. So, you know, we can po point to uh, Central Place in San Jose. We can point to some Oracle projects that we've done. Um, Campus for Jewish Life in Palo Alto. You know, for us, it's developing a, developing a portfolio that says sustainability just doesn't have to be for somebody else. These lessons learned are really transferable to any commercial uh, project. Can you talk a little about your connections with innovators, those at the cutting edge of technology? But we feel really fortunate to be able to be here because we're in this neighborhood. In addition to the major universities, Santa Clara, Stanford, Berkeley, you know, Cal Poly, UCLA, USC, we really are a very fortunate where we work very, very closely with several, several venture capital firms that are specifically focused in the built environment. And we have a good, strong engineering background, but most of ours has to do with supply chain. How do those products get into the supply chain? Is there value in the supply chain? So for us to be in our own way part of that next breed of product, it's, it, it means that we have that kind of advantageous viewpoint that we can lend to our clients. And at the same time, we can help those new innovative venture capital firms get a foothold in a very, very competitive industry. And any insight we can provide benefits everyone. 